In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can convert a decimal to a fraction. To convert a decimal to a fraction, we will keep in mind the idea of place value, counting the n number of decimals in the problem, and use that number to tell us how many zeros to use in the denominator of a fraction, because place value is based on the number of zeros in the denominator of a fraction. Of course, as always with fractions, we will be sure to reduce our final answer. So, for example, if we have the decimal 5.32, we're going to make a fraction with the 532 in the numerator. No decimal required now, because it's a fraction. And we'll count the decimal digits. There is one, two digits after the decimal. That means with a 1 in the denominator, we need one, two digits in that denominator, or two zeros, sorry. So we have 532 over a 1 with two zeros. That's the conversion process. Now we just have to reduce that fraction. Both those numbers are even, so I'm going to divide them both by 2 as we reduce. 532 divided by 2 is 266 over 100 divided by 2 is 50. But I notice both of those are even still, so I can reduce by dividing by 2 again. 266 divided by 2 is 133. 25 divided by, or 50 divided by 2 is 25. And I get my fraction. It can't reduce any more. 133 over 25 is equal to the fraction, or equal to the decimal, 5.32. Let's try another example where we count the number of decimal digits to tell us the number of zeros in the denominator. Here, we can take 4, 3, 1, 2, 5 with no decimal and put it in the numerator of our fraction. Our denominator, we know, is going to be a 1 with a bunch of zeros after it. How many zeros? Count the decimal digits. 1, 2, 3, decimal digits, so we need 1, 2, 3 zeros in our denominator. Now we simply have to reduce this fraction. The last digits of both are 0 and 5. That tells us that both numbers are divisible by 5. So let's divide both numbers by 5. 5 goes into 48 times, into 31 6 times, into 12 2 times, into 25 5 times, and 5 goes into 10 twice with two more zeros after it. This isn't reduced, though, because we can still divide by 5. You notice we end in a 5 and a 0 again, so we'll divide by 5 a second time. 5 goes into 8 once, and, uh, 36, 7 times, into 12 twice, into 25 5 times. 5 goes into 24 times with a 0 after it. And we see it still ends in a 0, still ends in a 5. It's still divisible by 5 again, numerator and denominator. 5 goes into 17 3 times, into 22 4 times, and into 25 5 times. And in the denominator, 40 divided by 5 is 8. And we finally got something that cannot reduce anymore. The fraction 345 over 8 is equal to the decimal 43.125. We can quickly convert these decimals to a fraction by putting the number without the decimal in the numerator and counting the number of decimal digits to tell us the number of zeros we need after the 1 in the denominator. And as always, be sure to reduce.